Hey Mira City, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl very more and I'm back with another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to two spill. If you've ever seen any of my reactions to our videos, click the link above. And this is Kela Jenna ruined our brands. The downfall of the Kardashian Empire. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, guys, this is my first time checking this out. And can't wait to dive into the video. But before we get started, we have some amazing people watching us for the first time. If you are new to the channel, hello, I'm Vera. I do reaction videos. This is something that you love. Why not join Vera City? Hit the subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And that's guys, let's go. It feels like the theme when it comes to the Car Jenners lately, especially Kylie Jenner, is excessiveness. We're not even halfway through the year, and Kylie has already released more products and made more brands than all her sisters combined, and it's become a problem. Wow. Kylie has her fans feeling extremely overwhelmed with all these new launches, and that's evident by her comment <coughs> section. She's been getting a lot of backlash for having a new launch pretty much every week, and instead of taking that criticism to heart and maybe slowing things down, she's actually sped things Ooh. up. She's launched so many new products in the last two weeks and people are not happy. It's a mess, so let's get into it. We've been having a lot of conversations about just how many new releases and new brands Kylie's had this year. She made a new clothing brand at the end of last year and has since had five drops. She released her first fragrance and she entered in an entirely new market with the launch of her first alcohol brand, Sprinter. Wow. It's been a lot and the conversations happening online has been Kylie is doing too much. She's releasing too much all at once. She's not giving her products enough time to shine before moving on to the next thing. It's over consumption and she needs to slow down. People used to be excited for a new Kylie launch. Now it's just expected that every week there's going to be something new and it's so true. In the last week alone, Kylie has released two new products. She first announced a new drop for Kai. She re-released her Sweats and Tees collection, but this time in new spring colors. Of course, they're still massively overpriced, but that's not the main thing that she was being criticized for. When she dropped the original collection with Drop 3, the main criticism was how much they looked like something from Skims. It literally looked like a complete ripoff of something Skims would drop, like they have the same supplier, same designers and developers, and Kylie just put her name on it. The Skims comparisons eventually went away as she released more collections, but now they're back. The top comment under her Instagram announcing the new spring collection reads, Why doesn't your brand have its own style? This is like Skims and the denim was like Good American. And then the dress design was stolen. And Kylie has the funds to be creative. She could come out with something different or find a solution to a problem with her products, but this just screams lack of passion. Kylie's brand Kai is also being called out for being dishonest with their advertisements. A few weeks ago, Kylie released a new collection of denim, and when she was showing it off, she said that they designed it to fit perfectly, even saying that no tailoring would be needed. The perfect denim, three styles, three washes, light, medium, and dark, and they just, the fit is so amazing. We really took our time and no tailoring needed, the perfect length, the perfect, just we keep saying perfection because they really are. And I was just thinking, what in the sisterhood of traveling pants was she trying to say? Michaela actually bought Kylie's jeans and not only were the sizes off. Okay, I got the denim jeans. I have, <laughs> I am, I'm four foot 11. <laughs> Pretty much only buy jeans from brands that carry short. So Abercrombie, American Eagle, Madewell, etc. These were well, one length, baby. One length. So I know they're gonna be too long. These are the classic straight leg. I got a size 28. I have a, I'm Portuguese. I have a very curvy body. I can't get these over my ass. I can't get these over my ass. I am a 28 in like American Eagle and Abercrombie, but I can't get these on. Damn it! <laughs> but the length was so long on her that she put a call out asking for people to send her suggestions on where she could get them tailored. I also got the classic high rise. Maybe this will go over the butt. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Th these ones have way more curve. You can literally tell. Like, okay, so I like how these like do this. Really nice. 
Um, the torso is not like dramatically long, so that's good. But yeah, the pants are wicked long. So if anyone has a tailor or is a tailor, I don't have one, so let me know in the comments. And it's like, obviously they weren't going to fit everyone, so I don't know why Kylie even said that. It just proves what everyone's been saying about Kylie only making clothes that fit her body type. Everything that she's released looks like she was making clothes that she wants, not clothes that are gonna make sense for the general population and actually sell good. They're very long on me because I'm short, and they have like a very long waist, like a uh, inseam. So the waist hits like here, whereas if like this is really where my, my seam would end. So it's kind of, I don't know if I like them. What do you think? If I cropped them short and made them like the right length for me, I think they would be really cool. I don't know. I just wonder how long Kai is going to be around for because so far it's not looking too good. Moving on, we of course had one more Kylie launch this week. She also announced a new product for Kylie Cosmetics. She revealed yet another lip product, this time a lip glaze. I don't know what exactly makes it a glaze. To me, it just looks like a lip oil, which I swear she already has something similar. This also makes Kylie's third makeup launch in less than a month, which is just crazy. No other brand is releasing that many new products. You would think, if anything, that would be bad business for Kylie Cosmetics. When a brand releases something new, it needs time to be reviewed, build up attention, and hopefully become a staple product. When you release so many major launches so close together, it gets lost. I mean, I don't think I've seen anyone talk about her new blush sticks or her mascara. Those should be major launches for any cosmetics brand, but with Kylie, it's like she's a fast fashion brand for makeup. The funny thing is, apparently the Kardashians said that they would be slowing down a bit and focusing more on family. And in the new trailer for the next season of the Kardashians, they even poked fun at the fact that they ever said that. Last year, we made a commitment to ourselves to slow down, take some time off, to be present in the moment. Have the Kardashians slowed down. No. I mean, maybe slowing down a bit would have been a good choice for some of them. It just feels like the more they dump on us, the more and more people are getting sick of them. Look at what happened to Kim at that Netflix roast. which Netflix had to go in and edit that out. It truly feels like a lot of the Kardashians are in their flop era, and it makes me wonder if Cody is behind the decision to do these constant launches. We know that they spend a lot of money buying a majority stake in Kylie Cosmetics. Is it possible they're noticing a downwards trend in her sales and they're just trying to get as much money as possible before it's too late? There's been a lot of rumors about Kylie maybe going broke and living above her means and just throwing anything out there to see what sticks, but I think it's more about greediness and lack of passion. She probably just wants to make as much money as possible while she can, and her team is probably just pushing out as much product as they can without any real direction from Kylie. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below, and I'll see you next time. Oh my gosh, wow. Kylie Jenner. I feel so sorry for her though. Because I love the Kardashian. I love them so much. And um But why would you, why would she <laughs> I feel like so now people are saying she's probably broke. That's why she's putting out so much product. Because why would you do a clothing brand, a makeup brand at the same time in the same week? Not to be an eater or anything. I feel like probably they have too much money. That is why she's confused, you know. Sometimes when you have too much money, you don't even know what to go for. So you might be confused and you don't know what you want for yourself. Because she's doing a clothing line and um, uh, a makeup line. And now she she has ruined her brand. Honestly, it's it's insane. I feel like she should basically just take one step at a time, putting out every week we are bringing out new product, new product, new product. What do you guys think? Why would she be doing something like that? 
I don't think she's broke or anything or what, what do you guys think? I just feel probably she has too much money to spend and she decided to do all of this. I love the Kardashians. I love watching their show. I'm a fan, so I love rooting for them. But this Jenna thing, it's definitely a no-no for me. But then it's a it's a free world, yeah. So you are free to make mistakes, you are free to start all over. Let her just do what makes her happy. That's what I'll say. Do do you do you do, do, don't put yourself under any kind of pressure do you do whatever makes you happy and um keep your head in the game so i would always say that keep your head on the game keep your head on the game don't lose focus and all of that what are your thoughts on this what do you think about this video drop your comments down below if you enjoyed this video as much as i did give it a huge thumbs up and please share this video and if you are new to the channel join veracity hit the subscribe button below turn on the post notification bell so you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops and that's guys see you in my next one bye guys